Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Kevin Smith, and I've got a guest here today. This is Amit Singh. He's with Neo Home Loans. And today we wanted to bring up a few topics. Uh, the first topic is like what's going on in the real estate market right now? Is it going to crash? Yeah. I mean, we're getting this question posed to us quite a bit right now with interest rates having been on the rise, with everything that's happening in the media right now. Everybody's wondering whether or not the market is like what it was back in 2008. And trying to figure out whether or not it's going to crash again, right? Now, there are a few key differences in the market today that are very, very different from what happened in 2008, but I can understand why people are feeling like it may be 2008 all over again. Now, the primary difference is the lack of inventory in today's market, right? There's just not enough homes available in the market today to be able to meet the population growth that we've seen over the course of the last 35, 40 years for a lot of the first time home buyers that are getting into the market, right? Yeah, now. That's a key difference because back in 2008, when we saw, we saw a surplus of homes available for sale and the ability for anybody to get a loan, right? right? There was no, it was, it was the wild west out there. Anybody could walk into a bank with nothing but a smile and a pulse and get whatever type of loan that they wanted. Uh, it wasn't conducive to an environment where people could be able to repay their loans and their loans would have these massive balloon payments, massive increases uh, in their payments. And so, it's a very different environment today because we're not seeing that type of financing available today. Everybody has to qualify for their mortgages today. Uh, but the primary difference right now that we're seeing and what's going to continue to prop up the real estate market today is the fact that there's just not enough homes available, yeah. right? Unless we see a, a surge of homes become available, which we just don't have the ability to yeah. see that happen right now uh, because of two primary things, right? One, people are feeling locked into their homes because they sure. may have a two or a 3% interest rate and they don't wanna move to a six or a 7% interest rate in the environment that we're in today. Uh, or uh, the fact that there's a massive amount of hedge funds that are gobbling up homes right now, right? They, there's an expectation that by 2030, hedge funds are going to own about 40% of the real estate market. And so if that ends up happening, that's going to artificially continue to deflate uh, the amount of inventory that's available right. in the market for people to buy. And so that's why I personally don't, I can't really fathom the real estate market crashing uh, unless we just have a massive amount of inventory unlocked, which based on the market that we're seeing right now just doesn't seem to be happening. Right. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. If you have any more questions or feel free to reach out to us for more topic information, feel free to do so. You can either reach us by phone, text, or email. I want to thank Amit today. Thank you very much. That's Happy awesome. To help. Yeah. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Thank you. Take Bye, care. Everyone.